There are inventory related forms are included under inventory menu. With this inventory menu, the godown is one of the among that. Godown in Ecoxy is used to enter the godown details where the products are stored. User can store the product in different godowns and Ecoxy enable the user to enter the data of the godown. While we clicking on the godown option, it opens to godown search page. Here user can create a new godown and when the user creates a new product, the created godown details will be available there and user can arrange the new product into right godown. Here we can see the details of already created godowns. Details we can see here like godown name, godown number and the current status. Status may be of active or inactive. On the right side of the data table, we have a pencil icon here. This pencil icon indicates with edit option and user can edit or make a change after created the godown. Next, the inactive type of godowns are highlighted with red color. On the left side of the page, we have a color format here. The red color indicates with inactive godowns. Now, let's take a look at which all other options are available in this godown page. On the top left side of the page, we have a filter option here. This filter option enables the user to filter or customize the godown data. While we clicking on the option, the filter tab will be opened and user can enter a godown name here, godown number and can select a status to filter or customize the data. After enter the details, click on the apply option to access the data and the data will be opened on the basis of the details we entered. Next to the filter option is a search bar. With this search bar, user can search a godown name and can access a particular type of data. Next is the add new godown option. With this option, user can create a new godown. While clicking on this option, it opens to a new godown form. Next to the add new option is export option. With this export option, user can export the complete godown data to excel format. Now let's take a look at how to create a new godown. For that, click on the add new godown option. While we clicking on the option, the new form will be appear. And first of all, here user need to enter the godown name. After enter the godown name, the next option is the godown number. Here user can enter the godown number. After enter the godown name and godown number, the next is to active or inactive option. If the user want to save this godown as an active, then mark on the active option here. Otherwise, user can save it as an inactive by unmark the option. After enter the details, on the right side of the page, we have save option, cancel and exit option. To save it as a new godown, click on the save option here. User can cancel this form without saving by using the cancel option. Exit option is using for the purpose of exit from the page without saving. The saved details will be available in the data table and user can make a change or edit if required. So these are the details included under godown form. Thank you.